Hey guys, happy Saturday. It is Vlogmas Day 5. Is today the 5th? Yeah, I believe it's Vlogmas Day 5. And I am pretty much, let me show you what I'm doing. I am making some oat smoothie. This is a protein power packed smoothie with oatmeal. You have peanut butter, banana, um, dates. I have uh, protein powder, whey protein powder, I believe. Mm -hmm. And then your spices such as your cinnamon, your, your vanilla, your nutmeg, and some pumpkin pie spice. And it's going to be delicious. Yeah, so it's a uh, chill Saturday. I just literally got done working and making this, cooking dinner. Well, Bobby's cooking dinner. I think he's making some curry tripe. Hardly eat that thing, but it's so good. Curry tripe is the bomb. Alright, so that's what we're doing and um, I don't know if it's me alone but I like putting toppings on my oat shakes or my oat smoothies. Because, I don't know, I just like that whole drinking and chewing at the same time vibe that it gives me. So, I always do that. Top it off with something crunchy on top. And this is like a blend of coconut, sunflower, almonds, cashew, and um, pumpkin seeds. <coughs> It's really good. Super duper good. Oh, and the ingredients I listed before, I forgot to tell you that I have Irish moss in there. <laughs> ah, yeah, it has Irish moss and plus I used a can of, what's that drink called tea with Irish moss? Irish moss? <laughs> yeah, I have some Irish moss gel and I have Irish moss the drink. Uh, guys, if you have never ever investigated Irish moss or sea moss, please do because we grew up having it available in Jamaica the entire time, not knowing the gold mine, the, the nutritional gold mine that we were sitting on because it is so nutritious. It has actually 92 of the 104 or 102 nutrients that the body is made up of or that the body needs so be sure to look into that mm -hmm. oh and these last days except yesterday i've been cheersing when i'm vlogging so today today's cheers is brought to you by my protein oatmeal shake cheers so what is planned for today? Um, our city, city of Port St. Lucie, they're having a festival of lights, which I believe is a Christmas parade, where they have <clears throat> some parades with lights, and they have a concert, and they have vendors, and they have all sorts of stuff. It is outdoors, very open, and we may check it out, I'm not sure. Um, we still want to do fun stuff that you know is fairly safe when you don't have to be close to people any at all and you can still you know feel some semblance of the festivities <clears throat> so we may do that it starts at 2 and I think the parade is 6 so yeah we might go check that out um, pretty much that's the plan for today nothing big guys if you ever, 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 ever come across this candle in life, 
get it. Don't second guess it. Don't question it. Just get it. It's a huge container too. I let me see how many ounces. Oh, it doesn't say on top, but this is like two times the average height of a um, a candle, and it's pretty wide, and you know it's just as wide or even wider than um, a Bath and Body Works candle. And it was fifteen dollars fourteen ninety nine, which is more than I would like to spend on a candle because. I, I do purchase Bath and Body Works candles, but never at regular price. Am I the only one? Yeah, never at regular price. I always get it when it's on sale. By the way, they are on sale now for nine dollars and some cents. Didn't get to get any this time, but guess what? I'll survive. This was from Target, and it was from D. The brand is D W Home, and it's Mandarin Agave. Amazing very amazing and the the packaging is giving me reggae vibes i don't know the colors are just giving me island spice hawaiian yeah that type of, of, of vibe i'm getting from the packaging so it's cute and it smells good and this is the cover just a black cover yeah hey any of you guys eat organ if you're gonna eat organ, a sarafona, cause this curry tribe is the bomb diggity. Yeah? Curry tribe with white rice and cucumber and cow skin and no, so this is real comfort food. Men I care when nobody say. Sure. Hey guys, meet my friend, my best friend. My best friend Bill. Hey, hi, come back. No, I'll go. Just pop around the road to look for some friends and um, drop off some food. I still have hopes of going to the Festival of Lights. They started at 2, it's now, I believe, 5. But the parade is at 6. So that's what I'm interested to, to see because I feel like that might be a light show, an actual light show. So that's what I'm um, pretty much looking to do. All right, so hopefully I have that to do, but if not, the bed will work. I finally made it guys. He finally made it and it's mad packed. So it looked like something like a fair happening and I'm not about that fair life. So I'm gonna go check what is going on and then come back home. So apparently this is the entire city of Port St. Lucie, Fort Pierce and adjoining cities that are in attendance of this event because it is mad packed. I'm gonna say packed guys, it is super packed. So we're not even gonna venture to go inside because this is not even sensible. So we're just on the outskirts, kind of enjoying the cold weather. Not cold, like cool. 
just enjoying the cool weather and chilling and just looking at people we're just people watching right now yeah but we we happened to catch a little part of the the fireworks apparently we missed the greater part of it but when we were driving in was actually the last couple of minutes of it so yeah it is what it is it is what it is guys so yeah this is it family of other stuff so right here is the um port st lucie event center and apparently a piece of the art some artifact or some portion of the remains of the building at the world trade center is housed here so the hobby is gonna see if he can show it to me because i've never been here before yeah Everybody going okay out there? Oh my god, this is so nice. How about a hand for that fire show out there, huh? So my bad, it's not the Port St. Lucie Event Center. It's actually the Mid-Florida Event Center. Alright, so we're gonna look at the the historical piece from the 9-11 World Trade Center. Okay, tell us now, what is this that we're looking at? This piece of the building, the World Trade Center. Oh, this okay. This is a piece of metal from it. Okay. And then if you look on, the, on, the, on here, they have the names of everybody who died. Oh, wow. Inscribed all around. All, all around. Oh, wow. If all of these people died in the World Trade Center. Yeah. Look, see, the World Trade Center up there. Mm-hmm. And then if you come here. To the for the These people died in the Pentagon and died on the plane. Oh, and then wow. everywhere else uh, was more interesting. Oh wow. Rest in peace. This is really sad. As you can see our stop at the the festival of lights was short-lived and we are now in Publix buying some chicken yeah we got to stay in our lane so we're gonna stay in our lane go to our yards and eat some chicken and call it an evening because that crowd was serious yeah all right guys thanks for watching and until next time remember to like rate subscribe share and thanks for watching day five of vlogmas stay tuned for day six and for the other 19 days all right
Peace. Love you guys. Bye. You look good from afar. Mm -hmm. Stop. How much time? Stop. How much time? Yes, M H. <laughs> <laughs>